Mr. Chaganlal Joshi, my grandfather, a freedom fighter who walked with Mahatma Gandhi side by side for the salt march. They together got us freedom. They fought for human rights. And I am fighting for the animals. If he could do it, why can't I? I am a software engineer by profession, a mountaineer by passion, and a vegan by compassion. Veganism gave me an edge in mental peace and mental focus. Meat consumption has tripled in the last 17, 18 years. So our population has not tripled. Our milk production has doubled, and we are consuming way too much dairy. If we continue doing this, deploying technology to find the last remaining animals and kill them, if you go to every last remaining forest and cut it to graze animals for livestock, we're going to kill everything. We don't want to harm anyone. So why do we want to eat a diet that harms us, harms the animals, harms the environment, harms her family members? And you want to be known as a greatly spiritual country. And yet the killing and the growing for killing is higher than anywhere else. So what's so spiritual? The word ahimsa, I mean, it started in India. Our land is a land of non-violence, land of Buddha, land of Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi is the one who not only just learned about ahimsa, but he practiced ahimsa in everything he did. I'm stressed that, you know, we don't want to harm anyone. So why do we want to eat a diet that harms us? harms the animals, harms the environment, harms her family members. Another word for ahimsa is caring, kindness, love, mercy, protectiveness. Ahimsa is actually a language of every heart. Ahimsa, non-violence to any living being. It is a beautiful word, not because it describes our nationality, our politics, our religion, our diet, or our lifestyle, but because it describes our character. Is India the land of Ahimsa?